Hello, in this short video I would like to show you how to you know, do a georeferenciation of a scanned image or scanned map. So, um, and this is done in ArcGIS Pro. I've already opened a new project and I have here a new map. The reference system is something strange here. So you can see it here it is the EPSG 4179, which is a little bit un well, unknown to the most of the users. Um, that is the reason because I would like to georeferenciate um, an old Russian topographic map from East Germany. Uh, I have it here in my folder. As you can see, there is no other files attached to it. It's just a plain JPEG. And I simply drag and drop it to my project. And you might know this position over here. That's a famous null island. And the reason is we don't have um, some uh, geo information on that picture. So it treats every pixel as an own degree. So the upper left corner of the image has a coordinate zero, zero. And due to the fact that the picture itself has, let's have a look into the rest of the information, 3,346 columns and 3,644 rows, I assume that the lower right corner is exactly at that degree. So let's have a look into the image here. Yeah, some of it's so that is now every pixel of the image is its own degree. That does not make sense as somehow. So what I will do now, I will create a real a real representation on that on my GIS project here. So I'm opening up the imagery toolbar. Let's select georeference and now I'm in georeferencing mode. So I will have the possibility to add control points, have my have a table of my control points. I'm already opening this one. And let's do the first step. So I would like to, at first, I would like to move that edge of the map to the real location somewhere in East Germany. So I can see the coordinates here already. So that's 52 degrees north and 12 degrees east. So let's add a control point. I'll try to be ex as exact as I could do. So left click and then right click into the map again and define the real coordinates, 12 and 52. And there we are. Map is gone or the picture is gone due to the fact that I'm all auto applying my changes. Yeah, so when I'm zooming in again to the to my layer, I do have the same situation now. But of course, the coordinates are now in the upper right corner, but I have moved my image. Uh, what I will do now is I will scale it a little bit. So I have the upper left corner of my image. Coordinates are 54 degrees north and 12 degrees east. 54. 54, not 52. There we are. Image is gone again. Let's zoom back again. Oh, it looks a little bit better. So the uh, island of Usedom is not where it belongs. So we need to work on that again. You can always flicker or swipe the image in the direction you would like to do it. So you can see here, it's something coming short. And it's also a little bit rotated, but due to the fact that we already have, only have two control points, we need to work on our model. So I'm now deciding to choose this location here, bam, uh, to the real coordinates of 15 degrees east and 54 degrees north. Let's go with that. And now we do have a proper representation of our location and Usedom belongs where it is. Berlin is somehow situated, right? Let's swipe again or let's let's use this. Oh, let's have a look here on the Muggelsee, which is a famous recreation area. Well, we have a little shift in our image still. So let's go over back again to the georeference tab. Select the last corner, the lower right corner of our image. Add the control point. Um, and due to the fact that we already have three points, ArcGIS Pro is able to determine a, a formula or, or mathematical representation of the transformation itself 
which is based on the first order polynomial, so-called affine transformation. And um, due to the fact that it already has the model, he can assume target coordinates. And the target coordinates for that pixel on that picture is 15.1 degrees east and 52, which is not the case in our picture, so I'm changing that. And now I do have a little problem. So our residuals are quite big, and that is always, let's say, an indicator for bad georeferenciation because the model cannot fit all the control points and it tries to eliminate the errors at the control points to its maximum, so uh, or to its minimum. So minimum errors at the control points. Uh, but let's have a look here into the city center of Berlin. Well, the representation of the Olmitzburger Bucht here maybe. Um, where is it in the map? It's over here. So let's swipe that out with the real uh, geo-referenced base map. Not that good. No, doesn't fit. Doesn't fit where it needs to fit. So let's go back again. And um, how can we how can we increase the quality of georeferenciation? So to um, to use another transformation method like second or third order polynomial, you need more control points. I already have that new control point, so I'm deleting now all control points and I'm importing my new ones. I simply have. Uh, yeah, worked on that prior. So these are now the new control points. As you can see, well, they are more or less located in the same area. So I have them here in the edges. I do have some other control points here at the cross points of um, longitude and latitudes. And I do have some real world control points where I was somehow able to determine them in the map or in the picture as well as in the base map. So I'm Pretty sure that they should be the same object in reality. But let's have a look. We see still some big residuals that comes from the transformation at the moment. So I'm now working with first order polynomial transformation. You see, well, there are lots of errors or big errors. But when I'm choosing now third order polynomial transformation, the errors are somehow decreased. There are still some. I am aware of that. So let's have a look and do somehow a check with the real map. Once again, here with the, with the Mugelsee, a recreation area in the southeast of Berlin. Well, that's, that's quite good for the moment. We need to keep in mind that this is a one to 500,000 map. So um, the um, generalization of the map is pretty big. So you see roads and areas like this black dot here is, a, is, a, is a, a railway line. You can see them in the real picture as well, but uh, they are much thicker than in the base map, of course. Also this island over here, let's have a look in the real world. It's now in the, in the generalized version. But in the end, that works quite well. I've just used 24 uh, ground control points. I'm saving now my um, my polynomial transformation and the and the whole mathematical mathematical model in the background, close, closing the uh, transformation or the georeferenciation. And here we are. So this is the map. I can use it as a reference material for my next work in ArcGIS Pro. Thank you very much.